So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to the greatest watch market update show. Today with me here is sitting Sweet Cake Kino and myself, Juan Nieves. Unbelievable. I'm just the voice of this channel. And Kino, Sweet Cake Kino is the owner of this channel. Unbelievably true. And today, Sweet Cake Kino has prepared for you guys an unbelievable watch market update. It's going to blow your socks off and blow your hair back. Unbelievable, but true. That's right. Unbelievable. But before we get into the watch market update, Sweet Cake Kino has a couple of topics that he would like me to relate to you guys, to voice out to you guys. And the number one topic is we have a, we received an email from one of our subscribers that uh, he is desperately in, in, in need of somebody reaching out to these two gentlemen out of Dallas, you know, the two Jehovah Witness brothers that work with consignment watches that got, you know, they got robbed sometime, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, sometime last year, I don't know the year, I don't know when it was, but he got robbed and they got robbed for millions and millions of dollars. And one of our subscribers has not still been paid out. So we want these two Jehovah Witness brothers to pay our subscriber out. You know who it is already. Because he's told me that he sent out to you many emails and texts and all that good stuff. And, and you guys just keep on playing the, the Jehovah Witness situation on him. You know? You, know, you guys, you got to get serious out there. You know, if you guys are going to be watch dealers, you got to, you know, you got to, you, you, you know, you got to bring up your credibility with these people. You know, these people gave you their watches in good faith. And you guys have been uh, supposedly, for what he tells me, you've been flim flamming them, you know? You've been flim flamming them and he feels like he's being fleeced by you. And we're talking about the, the gentleman that looks like Macaulay Culkin, you know, from Home Alone, you know? Macaulay Culkin, uh, Kevin Kevin McAllister from Home Alone and his uh, his brother, his sidekick brother. He looks like uh, Jimmy Swagger, you know? <laughs> Believable. So these guys out of Dallas, Texas with that uh, watch uh, dealer over there, you got to pay up already, right? Don't, don't make me keep on voicing this out in the air. I'm very powerful now. I have a lot of subscribers around the world, and they know who I am. Excuse me. They know who Sweet Kick Kino is, all right? All right. So just to let you know, pay up already. Pay what you own. If you own my subscribers some money, pay them their money. They need it. Times are tough out there, all right? You cannot keep on living... Uh, your lavish lifestyle with uh, with my subscribers' money. No, no can do. La situación está jodida. Okay? Basta ya con vacilón. And our next topic is an unbelievable one. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a gentleman out of somewhere in, in, in the United Kingdom, somewhere over there in England. I don't know. Somewhere. I don't know. Scotland. I don't know where it's at. But this guy, he wants to be exactly like me and Sweet Kick Kino. He's like a little elf with small little eyes put together. You know what I'm saying? It's unbelievable. I, I'm not talking about Popeye. No, no, no. This is a new one now. He wants to use my catchphrases and everything. He wants to even be like me and Kino. Unbelievable. He's, he's like an elf, you know? Herney the elf. You know? <laughs> Herney the elf with small little eyes very, very close together. <laughs> Look at that. Like that. He's a little elf. He's unbelievable, that little Hernie the Elf. And he wants to be just like us. And we like that because there's nothing like seeing somebody to be, you know, a knockoff from the real thing. You know, they're trying to be a knockoff from the real thing. You know, me and Sweet Kick, you know, the real thing. We want you to use our catchphrases and be like us and everything. You can say the watch market is dead. You can say the watch market is dropping. Drop, 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 drop. All that you can do. But you are the little elf with the small little eyes, very tight together. You know who you are. <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable, that little elf from the from somewhere in England. I don't know, somewhere in England. I don't know where he's at, but he's over there. Okay, so we have to now support him too. Because he wants to be like us and he's trying to join our team. Unbelievable, that little elf with the little tight little eyes. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we're going to go into the watch market update. And today, Sweet Kick Kino has prepared a nice, a very nice watch market update. And our first watch is a Rolex stainless steel GMT with a green and black bezel. Unbelievable. They call that watch 
the Sprite. Take a look, see at the picture of this watch. Unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable. This is the Rolex Stainless Steel GMT Sprite with a green and black ceramic bezel. Reference number 126720. It has a retail price of $11,250. And at one moment, this watch was over, over $45,000 when it was first released. It has an oyster bracelet. So don't get that confused. It has an oyster bracelet. So don't get that confused. Not a Jubilee, oyster. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to tell you not to pay. I mean, you do whatever you want with your money. It's your money. You do whatever you want. We understand that it is your money. And you can do whatever you want with it. But don't pay for that Rolex GMT stainless steel Sprite. Don't pay more than $14,999. Watch my dead, 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 dead. Our next watch is an unbelievable watch, which I have talked about this watch in many, many times in different videos that I have done. We're talking about the Richard Mill, the RM6501 Rose Gold. Take a look-see at this time machine. Take a look-see at it, it's unbelievable. This is the crypto watch, you know? This is all the gentlemen that had crypto money they purchased this watch. And this watch at one moment was over $700,000. I repeat to you, this watch was over $700,000. Unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable looking time machine. And I'm telling you, it's rose gold. The retail price of this watch, ladies and gentlemen, is over $400,000 plus your taxes. Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. You know, to be a sack, it's worth $405,000 plus your taxes. Unbelievable. And ladies and gentlemen, like I told you, it was worth seven hundred dollars at one moment. And we're going to have to tell you today, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay for that Richard Mill RM6501. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $279,000. And how much money you did. Gentlemen, Gentlemen, you got to stop being window lakers and lollipop suckers. You cannot continue getting fleeced. You cannot continue getting fleeced by these flim flammers. These flim flammers are hurting. No tiene más chavo. Está la situación está jodida. La situación está jodida y está caótica. La situación está jodida y caótica. You don't know what that means? You Google it. Because the watch might be dead. The watch might be dead in the backyard pool and floating face down like this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Our next watch is the Patek Philippe. Unbelievable, this Patek Philippe. Take a look at the picture of this beautiful Patek. Unbelievable looking time machine. This is the Patek Pilot Travel Time Rose Gold, the 5524. It has a 42 millimeter, unbelievable looking time machine. It has a retail price of $59,390. And ladies and gentlemen, me and sweet Kit Keen are gonna have to tell you the truth on pay for that beautiful paddock, pilot, travel time, rose gold, 55, 24 with a 42 millimeter. Don't pay more, and I mean don't pay more than $33,000 and bam, watch Mikey did. Dead. You do whatever you want. It's your money. You do whatever you want. Quiero. Ellos no saben si están metiendo esta gente. La situación está bien jodida. Dime que sí o no. Dime que sí. Sweet kid, Kiro. Just want to add that. Oh, believe me, my sweet kid, Kiro. Our next watch is another Patek. Another Patek Philippe. Take a look. See at the picture of this Patek. Unbelievable looking time machine. The Aquanaut. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, this Aquana stainless steel 5167 slash 1A001, 40 millimeter. Has a retail price. This is fully, fully stainless steel. The bracelet, everything is fully stainless steel. Unbelievable. Has a retail price of $28,280. Unbelievable looking time machine. And this watch has always had some kind of problems and you know, going up in prices, you know, it's always, they try to make it go up, make it go up, but it just can't, it doesn't have it, you know, it doesn't have what it takes, and me and Sweet Kick, you know, I'm going to tell you, don't pay for that paddock, I'm not staying still, 5167, 40 millimeter, don't pay more, 
And I mean, don't pay, I mean, you do whatever you want, but don't pay more than $49,000 and bam, like my dad, dead, 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 dead. <laughs> Unbelievable. Our next watch is an Adamas Piquet Royal Oak. Unbelievable. Beautiful looking time machine. Take a look. See at the picture of this watch. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The AP Royal Oak Jumbo 39 millimeter 16202. They call this the James LeBron. The James LeBron. Unbelievable that James LeBron watch. Unbelievable. The Golden Hombre. Over $300,000 at one moment, ladies and gentlemen. Over $300,000. I'm not even going to get into the retail of this watch. I'm just going to tell you, don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $116,000. And drop him like Michael did. Se jodió. Hey, James Lauron, ese. Hey, Lauron James, se jodió. Se jodió. Está jodido. Está bien malo. Things are bad out there. You don't know what I just finished saying? Google it. <laughs> Google it. Our next watch is an unbelievable looking time machine. As you can see in the picture, unbelievable looking time machine. It is the Vacheron Constantin stainless steel. Unbelievable. The 5500V with a blue dial with a 42.5 millimeter casing chrono. This watch has a retail price of $35,600. This is an unbelievable looking time machine, this Vacheron Constantin. Unbelievable looking time machine, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm telling you, this watch, like I told you, this watch has a retail price of $35,600. And me and Sweet Kick Kino are going to have to tell you, we'll pay more than $26,500 and drop him like Michael did. Unbelievable. Our next watch is a Vacheron Constantine Overseas. Unbelievable looking time machine. Take a look, see at the picture of this watch. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It is the 6000 V. Unbelievable, the 6000 V Turbion. Unbelievable, with a blue dial, 42.5 millimeter casing. This watch has a retail price of $129,000. Unbelievable, but true, but it has a retail price of $129,000. And me and sweet Kit Kino are gonna have to tell you, don't pay for that Vacheron Constantine overseas, 6,000 V Turbion Blue Dial, 42.5 millimeter. Don't, don't pay more than $74,000 and that white market is dead. Unbelievable, true, unbelievable. Our next watch is a Patek Philippe. A Patek Philippe, unbelievable, you know, complication watch, unbelievable looking time machine, as you can see in the picture. It is the 5270J, yellow gold, perpetual calendar crown. This watch has a retail price of 194190 That's right. Unbelievable looking time machine. This watch was over at one moment, over $275,000. Watch market is dead. Don't let these flim flammers keep on fleecing you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let them keep on fleecing you. These guys are a bunch of hucksters and hoodwinks. I'm telling you, the watch market is dead. And we're gonna have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay for this beautiful paddock, 5270J, yellow gold perpetual calendar crown. Don't pay more. Then $124,000 and dropping the watch market is dead. Unbelievable. Watch might be dead. Our next watch is a Rolex. Take a look at the picture of this beautiful Rolex stainless steel yacht master. Unbelievable. Unbelievable with a rhodium dial and a blue Tiffany hand. Reference number 116622. It has a retail price, unbelievable. It has a retail price of $12,000. And at one moment in the in the lollipop sucker ever, in the window laker era, it was over $18,000, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. The watch market is dead, ladies and gentlemen. The watch market is dead. You do whatever you want with your money, but the watch market is dead. If you want to continue maintaining these people's lifestyle and their red gold fast car and their sushi and their steak 
and the Louis Vuitton Nike sneakers and, and, and the Supreme sweater, you know, Montclair hoodies. That's up to you, but the watch market is dead, ladies and gentlemen. You got to stop being lollipop suckers and window lickers. You got to stop being tomato cans, crayon eaters. The watch market is dead. Unbelievable, but true, but the watch market is dead. Unbelievable. I mean, you do whatever you want with your money. But let's get back into the, to the watch market update. Let's get back into it. And we're going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay for that Rolex stainless steel yacht master, rhodium dial, blue Tiffany hand, 166, excuse me, 116622. Retail price $12,000. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $10,500. And that ain't much watch market did. Our next watch is the Panerai. Unbelievable Panerai. You know, we're going to talk about Panerai. This is a beautiful Panerai watch, as you can see in the picture. Beautiful Panerai. The Panerai is a Kino. Unbelievable. Sweet kid Kino just always doesn't want to talk to me. I don't know why. Sweet. Come on, Kino. <laughs> Unbelievable. Sweet kid Kino, the Panerai Lumina, rose gold, 1953 day, 42 millimeter, brown dial. You know, the Pan, 00393. Has a retail price of over, over $25,000. Unbelievable looking time machine. You know, the three days. And we're going to have to tell you, don't pay for this used slider condition material watch. You know, we're talking in this channel, we're talking about used slider condition material watches in this channel. Okay, don't get that confused. Use slider, you know, slider. Slider means it's almost new. And use is use, you know, so use slash slider. This is the way we say it in this channel, in this channel. Unbelievable, but true. And we're going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay for that beautiful, beautiful Panerai Lumina. As you can see in the picture, don't pay. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $11,300 and that one. That, that. Le doy un poquito más a este reloj. Porque está full. Está full. Es un perrito con pulga. That one. Quiero hacer tu origen. Our next watch is an Aramas Piquet Royal Oak. Beautiful picture of this watch, as you can see. Beautiful picture. This is an AP Royal Oak chronograph with black ceramic. You know, ceramic. Unbelievable, this watch. Unbelievable. The AP Royal Oak self-winding chronograph. Black ceramic, 41 millimeter. And what makes this watch special, it is a 50th anniversary. Reference number 26240CE. Retail price of that watch is $78,200. And let me say this one more time. This is a 50th anniversary watch. This watch at one moment was over, over. $300,000, and there was a real big long line of lollipop suckers, window lickers, tomato cans, crayon eaters, you know, palmalef dish lickers. Unbelievable, you know, unbelievable. Ready to give up that amount of money, to give away their children's tuition money for that watch. You know, you know what it is? That you work hard and you get all this money and you just go ahead and give your children's tuition money to these hucksters and hoodwinks, you know, that have fleeced you for so long until sweet Kit Kino and I came along. You know, you've been fleeced. You know, they see you as a spoof ball. You know, unbelievable. They see you as a buffalo out there, you know? If you don't know what that means, you Google it. You Google it. But you gotta stop being tomato cans and stop giving away your children's tuition money away to these flim flammers. They have fleeced you for too long. Unbelievable. These guys are a bunch of hoodwinks and hucksters. Just so letting you guys know the truth. And we're going to have to tell you, don't pay for that AP Royal Oak with a black ceramic, you know, chronograph. Unbelievable looking time machine. We're going to have to tell you, as you can see in the picture, we're going to have to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Don't pay for that AP Royal Oak self-winding chronograph, black ceramic, 41 millimeter, 50th anniversary. Don't pay more than $112,000 in Watch market is dead. You're dead. I mean, you do whatever you want. Watch market is dead. Our next watch is an unbelievable looking time machine. 
It's an unbelievable looking time machine, as you can see in the picture. This is the H Moozer. You know, H Moozer, like, like a moose, like a moose, you know, oh, a moose. Oh, the moose. Unbelievable, that moose. <laughs> Stainless steel with a marble green dial. Unbelievable, this H Moozer. Unbelievable, as you can see in the picture, with the marble green dial. Reference number 3200-1202. It has a retail price of $15,300. And we're going to have to tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Don't pay for that H Moozer. Don't pay more than $7,000. And I don't care what they're telling you out there. Don't pay more than what I just finished telling you for that H Moozer. It's a beautiful H Moozer. You know, the moose. But don't pay more than that, all right? Because if you do, you're going to be a window licker. They're going to call you a window licker, okay? Don't do it. Our next watch is an H Moozer, another moose. <laughs> Unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable, as you can see in the picture. Unbelievable. The H Moozer stainless steel streamliner flight back chronograph. This watch has a retail price of $47,200. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The reference number of that watch is the 6902-1201. Unbelievable. And we're just going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the truth. I mean, you do whatever you want. You, you do whatever you want with the H Moozer. <laughs> the Moose. <laughs> Unbelievable. Don't pay for that H Moozer. Whatever you do, don't pay. It's a beautiful looking time machine. Beautiful looking dial. It's beautiful. But don't pay more. What price can I tell you so you don't feel bad? Don't pay more. Don't pay more than $23,000 and bam, the watch market is dead. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's your watch market update for this week. Unbelievable, but true. You know, there's your watch market update. Use it to defend yourself from these flim flammers. You got to stop being, you know, lollipop suckers and window lickers. You got to. You got to. If you don't, you're going to start kicking tires. You're going to start kicking tires and kicking rocks. And we don't want to see you kicking tires and kicking rocks because the watch market is dead. No matter what these flim flammers keep on telling you, no matter what they keep on pushing on you, the watch market is dead. All right? I'm telling you, don't be lollipop suckers. Don't be window lickers. The watch market is dead. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed my watch market update for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. And like me and sweet kid Kino say every week, take care and brush your hair.